do that. How the hell are we going to get a picture of a hippopotamus in South America? Well, you've got a really long leg. Well, I know, but I happen to be on a very tall <laughs> mountain to, to see Africa. Africa. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to see you lumbering by here. The next day, armed with our new and more challenging instructions, we decided to make an early start. Sadly, however... What was that? It's the, the starter keeps engaging whilst the engine is running. Hang on. Only does it occasionally. It's in... Ah! It's that. Oh! Better. It's mended. All is fine. I like to name my shoes. Oh! 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 Leaving Hammond to repair the endlessly annoying Trump truck, May and I hit the road. Well, let's do no Shrimping and forest products obviously uh, pays well. Look at the boats out there. I know, that is amazing, isn't it? You, you often see that, the most humble of commodities, and it yields just incredible wealth for a privileged few. Yeah. Right, we're now leaving Cartagena in our quest to find many interesting animals to photograph, including a hippopotamus. That's the tricky one. Obviously, many difficult challenges would lie ahead. There'd be thick forests. Volcanoes. Treacherous mountain passes. Oh, Jesus. And dreadful weather. But we weren't unduly worried because we were using cars. Photographers like to pretend that everything is more complicated than it needs to be. So, you know, boxes and lenses and bags, all the stuff Richard Hammond's got. And also wildlife photographers like to pretend that life has to be difficult. Live up a tree for three weeks, freeze yourself to death on an iceberg to take a picture of a polar bear or whatever. No, it can be comfortable. The car can make anything comfortable. Drive up, take your picture, drive off. Sadly, though, while we were covering the ground quickly and comfortably, photographic opportunities were a bit sparse. <laughs> 